beautiful cold day in Ohio. It's like 20 degrees Fahrenheit this morning. And this is my 2025 KTM XCF 350 Factory Edition. This bike is all stock except for the full Akrapovich exhaust system I've installed. The Akrapovich is a little bit lighter but it's quieter and it makes great power and it has a spark arrester and I think it's even a little more compact back here so I like it as the it's my favorite accessory kind of exhaust or uh, different exhaust for these bikes and this is an Austrian 350 so 350s have long been my favorite combination of power weight handling this bike's only got about two hours on it and uh, I'm just gonna play around on some frozen trails this morning I was messing around on this stuff with my 300 Champion Edition and you know two strokes you're always wondering about jetting and all that kind of stuff well four strokes they just run perfect no matter what the temperature is this one has a CUO unit the connectivity off-road so I have put what I call my 250F map in it is gravel wet minimum throttle response and minimum engine braking and even though it's dialed back it still has awesome power just makes it a little more controllable in the woods and this tight stuff and it is slippery I know it looks dry but it's freeze dry these trails are slick today it's we've had a couple of nights down in the teens and this ground is really freezing up fast so I just have the stocky AT82 tires. Pretty soon the studded tires will be the best. But I like these AT82s. <laughs> Getting on the edge there. And that that softer map really just helps kind of keep this thing really tractable. So you can still get traction. This stuff is really slick. Now it has traction control, so I could dial it back a little bit more if I engage traction controls as I have it on the map set to be maximum. I would really dial it back. Rambo brakes. Now I've used this bike at a couple different places already before all this cold weather came in and I'll tell you the new suspension settings KTM has come up with on these XCWs and XCFs, the cross-country bikes with the spring forks are excellent. They've got a plushness yet a nice progressive damping character really keeps the chassis in control and with the new chassis that's a little more compliant it's just a great combination a little better tire contact patch feel this engine they it has such nice low end yet still barky now it's a four stroke, so you gotta cover the clutch, but the I think it's it's got better low RPM rideability than my other my Caleb Russell 350 had. Ooh, ooh, gotta watch out, it's slippery. Put on the brakes, you don't slow down. These 350s are so fun, they're just playful. Yeah, that barky. Easy to pull that front end just right up. This new chassis has a precision feel. 
It's really nice. <laughs> and again, this is the the 250 dialed back map. That's what I liked about the that CO. You can turn this engine up. You go in moto in or good traction, or you can dial it back. It's got that sharp, fun, playful power. Instant throttle response, even at 20 degrees. <laughs> Man, I like this bike. 350s. They are. They are so fun. Power, weight, agility, what a great combination. And the new 25 through the XCF or even the factory edition, such a good bike. The suspension just works so good out of the box and even on a cold 20 degree Fahrenheit winter day in Ohio. Two big thumbs up.